Good evening, everyone. Hello to Ruby. Hi to Amjad, Laurie. I don't know who else is in. <laughs> Mark was in, but that were like 20 past eight, so I think I've caught up. Uh, your chocolate I cookie. I, I, I'm a chocolate cookie. Hiya, Martin. How are you? Hello, Martin. He's back for war. He can't stay away. <laughs> it's the day up, Chris. So, yeah, relatively simple. Uh, um, Yeah. Relatively simple recipe tonight. Um, I've got a slight... Um, um, confession to me i have got some orange essence so it makes them into like chocolate orange shortbread so there you go i thought that's just my you know i just wanted to add a little bit of something i have made a head but i'm going to show you how to make it and what i'll do is these are going to go in the oven, and the ones that I'm making tonight, I'll roll out tomorrow, and we're going to have two lots of cookies. So, um, it does say that it makes 24 cookies, but I've gone with quite a large cookie cutter. Huh. Oh, on Johnny's on his way. Oh. Hi, Laurie. I'm muted. Huh? She's. You muted. <laughs> She's still muted. You're on mute. <laughs> How's that? I, better? That's better? it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, my I, computer just died on me, so I I'm on my Simon. phone. <laughs> yeah, Tracy is joining us. She did say she was joining us. Hey, yes, she is. Hi, Tracy. Hi. I did. I did. I did say. I don't know whether you heard, whether you heard me or not. I'm going to put my own little twist on them. I've got some orange extract. I'm going to put a little bit of orange extract in so they like chocolate orange shortbread. But, you know, when I were weighing out and everything and doing, you know, I've already done me uh, this afternoon. Um, Chris got that out at fridge just before I went live. So that's the one I made earlier on. Uh, so you, you didn't roll that out yet? No, I haven't rolled it out or anything because that's what I want. You know, I mean, that's sort of. Have you already rolled yours out? Ah, uh, yeah. You, you'll find out why when you get ready to do yours. Oh right. But <laughs> I just wanted to show everybody the whole experience. I mean, you know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, at least I'm not lagging on my phone. No. That's no. kind of nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my, I, I've got me, I've got my two cameras set up as well. I've got the camera on the, that uh, on my laptop that I'm using now. Yeah. But the new camera that I've bought, I've also got that. I'll just switch it. I'll, I'll just switch it over and let you see what I mean. Yeah. My laptop, on my laptop, you're buffering really bad. See, that's, that's, that, that's, that's the new camera. So basically, yeah. oh yeah, it's a lot clearer than the Oh yeah, one. your colors better. Too. But I, I didn't know. I, I did it because it, it has actually, it has actually got like a ring light on it as well. Ah. So if, yeah, I have a ring light for my laptop, but I'm I don't think I'm going to be using my laptop anymore. Only yeah. just for the chat. So. Yeah. Did you have a good day, Simon says. So right, he's, he's multitasking because their football team's playing. 
but it's only like in cups, so he's not all that fussed about it, but he's listening to it, if if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know what I'm here. But he it, it did set the alarm really early to go out with the drone, and I woke him up and I says, it's absolutely peeing it down. <laughs> it's absolutely bouncing it down. So he says, well, you may as well turn the alarm off then. So that's what I did. Um, yeah, I've got me, I've got my things all, all uh, greased and um, you know, lined me. me yeah, see. yeah, I'm all. Hi, Lee. How are you? Hi, Lee. So yeah, they all lined and ready. Amjad says it's hot in London. It's not cold here. It's just been, yeah windy and then sort of sun had come out but then it went dull again but like first thing this morning it absolutely bouncing it down oh it's hot here it's really hot here it's been hot for a couple days a couple few days but um we supposedly going to have this up another heat wave so i don't know you know so if you're ready tracy are you ready laurie are you I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. So we'll make a start because um, I'm going to show you how to make the dough, even though I've made some. I, I want, you know. I made some too. <laughs> okay, okay, then. Thank, thank you, Lee. Uh, I would appreciate, you know, thumbs up and everything. So I'm just going to turn my camera around. Let me see if I can work this out. <laughs> uh, I haven't done this for a long time on my phone, so I don't know. Let me know if you can see. I can't I even see anything on my see, computer. Just see, just see your bowl. Yeah, Turn I can't lips. even see anything on my computer screen. So ah, that's it. That's Is that it. all right? Yeah. So okay. in here we've got two cups of all-purpose flour. And that is two hundred eighty-four grams. So. We're going to start off uh, putting cocoa powder, which is quarter of a cup or 28 grams of cocoa powder, into the flour. <laughs> so basically, what we're going to do, we're going to mix this. This is this is cocoa powder and um, flour. So that's going to get mixed together. This is just flour and, and cocoa powder. Hiya, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Oh, yeah, so, so, so this, this is what we just mix in the, um, the cocoa and the flour together. And I'm going it all up table, trying to tip it up and be clever and show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that's what we're doing first. We're just um, just mixing the cocoa pad and the uh, the flour together. I mean, all three of us um, have uh, have made some. Uh, Keener's got his phone. Uh, so yeah, so uh, we, we agreed, me, Tracy, and Laurie, that we were going to do the uh, here's one I made earlier. So we're just going to put that to one side because that's cocoa and flour. So I'm just going to wipe my mat because it's got a little bit of, uh, you know, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so now I've got my my bowl, and into this we need one cup of butter, and that is two hundred and twenty-five grams. So Laurie's one step ahead of us; she's already done that. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Yeah. Uh, I am not, Jeanette. You're just imagining things. No, no. 
Um, so yeah, into this, you want oh. half a teaspoon of vanilla essence into your butter. But you see, I've, the thing is, Laurie, I've got a magic, magic tool to it because you can see how mine's in block form, isn't it? Yeah, I've got each, each thing on my on my mixer. You see. <coughs> Hi, DJ Ian. Where's Ian? Is Ian in? Then? Yeah. Oh, you you must get it before I'm getting it then, because I. Oh, hiya, Ian. How are you? <laughs> How are we, lad? Chat. Oh well, yeah. Um, so into that, you need. <laughs> <coughs> Two thirds of a cup of confectioner's sugar, that's icing sugar in, in England, or 76 grams. So to this, I'm going to add my, um, my orange essence. This is what I did earlier. I did, you know, added the orange and the vanilla to the so yeah so that's that's that gone in i just thought i'd sort of put my own little uh take on it and, and basically chocolate orange uh, shortbread so yeah so now we're going to mix this um it shouldn't be too shouldn't be too bad but i've got me avert your ears <sighs> did put the eat thing on and it's 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 uh, it because it does say that you have got oh okay, that's just rolling ping on <laughs> oh dear because it does say you beat it for three minutes but obviously i've got a magic tool which is my eat thing on me um you know on my mixer so it says, uh, switch the mixer speed to low and gradually add in the flour until it's just combined. But I, I'm going to make mine with the uh, mix mine with the mixer. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tell you, it gets stuck in the beaters, do that. My mine's the power the power tool of of baking. Mine is. Well, you're lucky there. Okie dokie then, Ian. Thanks for coming in. Yes, it's up at five. See you later, Ian. So, so basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix this again. I'm going to mix in the flour in. Yeah, I'm putting mine over here. How's it going, Tracy? <laughs> Hello? How's it going? I'm doing it by hand because my thing's broken. But I'm there, yeah. I've already got one prepared earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, I think, I've lost one of my things, been one of my um, beaters. Mixer. Did it stick to your beaters, Jeanette? No. 
No. Wow. I tell you, tell you this is a beast, Laurie. Absolutely. What kind of beater is that? It's a Breville, um, and it's called Breville Heat Soft Technology. Wow. And I'll just show you. That wow, gold, that is nice. That gold button there is if, you know, like, because my buttering block, there's no need to soften your butter because that is, that, it, it blows hot air out. Wow. In essence, it softens it you, as you're going. You're very lucky. I have my hands in here and I'm mixing this. <laughs> Chris bought it me for Christmas, Laurie. And it's, hey, Chris. Well, obviously, <laughs> it, it's a beast. Hey, Chris. Hi, it is, Jones. How are you? How are we? <laughs> yeah. No problem. It's gone through this like, like, you know. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know they made beaters that strong. Tracy, Johnny says, move your camera because your table mats aren't very interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm having to do it over there. So. Oh. I'm just going to scrape. See that, Laurie? Yeah. No, no, hardly any at all on my beaters. Wow, you are so lucky. I didn't think I didn't think they had beaters out of the story. Jeez. But when we were sort of talking about Christmas presents and everything, I'd seen this and I said, you know, if you don't get me anything else, there is one thing that I want to get. <laughs> and that's this. Yeah. Said, you know. But it were about in our in, in pound sterling, I think it were forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, quite expensive for for a mixer. How much was think, it? Pardon? You see, with my other glory, I am rolled it in a roll. I've uh, yeah. I've got cramp in my hand now. Um, but it does say a bit further down in the notes on the recipe, if you don't want to do it in a roll, just um, do like normal and, and use a cookie cutter and blah, blah, blah you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I find I, it much easier to do it in the roll myself. So that, that's why I'm moving it up in saran wrap. Because it's and it's so much easier and it's but, like but that's it. I mean, I look at it this way: it's whatever is yeah. easiest. And yep, it slices you know. really nice too. Can you see it? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm trying to put my figure out where to put my camera here. There we go. Well, I'm just wiping some bits up. So now. What I'm going to do is get that all together. As you can see, I'm showing you. Look, um, it, it is quite a sticky dough. Yeah. But it's quite good to work with, I reckon. It's not, um, you know, it's, it's quite a pliable dough. It's not, uh, you know, it's not hard to work with. I found that it, it seemed to me like it was pretty thick. So I uh, decided, you know, to roll I mean, it. When all said and done, it's a shortcake, isn't it? So, I mean, it's got to be quite. Right, I'm just going to put that to one side now because I'm just going to wipe my top. 
will not be top me me, me Matt. I am now. How do last? Well, you finally just put your flower in your bowl on my computer. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I got some on me on my laptop, you see, and I just wiped it, and all of a sudden it went off. Yeah, you're way <laughs> you're way behind on my computer. You better get caught up there, lady. <laughs> so, so yeah. So what what I'm doing now is I've got cling film. Oh. Here it is. Here's my log. Uh, <laughs> I've got cling film, so um can't get the stuff shut up you. So yes, yeah, so I'm I'm just laying that out on on there. And now That goes in cling film. Solid as you do, hard as it will be. Um, it, it's it's not solid, but it's it's pretty it's pretty stiff, but it's not um. It's not yeah, it's pretty stiff. That's why I rolled mine. You know, I figured I'd just slice it. It was easy. <laughs> <laughs> What do you well, got, a mud pie? made me hungry now. I only have Jaffa cakes in. But, but yeah, it's it's not too bad. It's, it, you know, so you cover, cover this up in cling film. Uh, Ruby, mine was pretty, it was pretty thick. That's why I decided to roll it in saran wrap like Jeanette's doing. And then I just rolled it in, into a log. And then after I refrigerated it, then I sliced it. And I only refrigerated it for an hour. Yeah, this now goes in the fridge, and it does say for at least two hours, but it it's, comes comes out firm. So, just give this uh, another wipe. Jeez, there went my phone. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so here's one I made earlier. This has been this has been in the fridge. So now, like Lori, it says you can um, roll it into a, a, a sausage, but I'm I, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to. It's all right. I'm just lifting my laptop up to weigh it down. Sorry about if I'm making you a little bit. Um, Camera's decided to uh, have a mind of it. <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. I'm trying. What, what the heck? It not stop. That's it. <laughs> 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 Oh dear. Might it be better if I pour it? Try to uh um
you see, it, it, it only swivels from side to side. It don't. I'm trying to pour it where you can see high enough off it and to um, try to think what can I use. All right, technical difficulties. <laughs> I think we're all having them today. Are you awake? Are we? Awake? We're awake. So yeah, I'm trying to um, do it as so you can see what I'm doing. That's basically what I'm trying to do. So yeah, so I've I've I've, I've rolled some. Um, uh, this is grease proof paper. And what you do is the dough that I made earlier on. Um, so yeah, this is what I made earlier on. And to make it a little bit better, what you do is you. The idea is you put another sheet of greaseproof paper on top of it. Um, and roll it out. So that's basically what I'm doing. You don't get your hands all sticky. It, it, it is quite, quite pliable to work with, if you know what I mean. <coughs> and you don't get it stuck all over your rolling pin either. <laughs> like I'm doing, I've got no more. I've got none of that paper left. I put that plastic over like that, actually. And roll it out that way. I've got pieces in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can you can do like what Ruby does, and um, you can do what Laurie does. Laurie's done hers in like a sausage, like a, a roll, like that. And when oh, that's Rick, are you doing uh, when that's when when that's been in fridge for two hours, you just slice. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Zach. Hi, Vanessa. So Oh, baby, I need me thing plugging in. Yes, for two, at least two hours. I need me uh, thing, it's going to go off. What? Me power. So, yeah, um, Laurie, um, it's in this. Uh, Which side is it? It's. Is it the big one? Yeah. It's all the way, isn't it? Yeah. Confucius, I, I he say oh, many man. hands make lots of cookies. Yeah, I <laughs> right. this makes quite a few. Slicing them anyway, it does. I'm sure they'll probably be tiny, which is good because they're going to be sweet. It's just a plug, and it's got a thing in it. Uh, well, that narrows it down a bit. Probably in this one down here. It's got black plugs there. Yeah. Yeah, can you just put it in for me? Where is it? Oh, it's here, just above me. So yeah, so what I'm got what while we're having kittens about power going off because I, I I unplugged the power. I'm just gonna. That's it. Just, what are we making? We're making chocolate shortbread. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna. Put them out with my cookie cutter. Laurie's uh, done hers in a roll. But that, that's the good thing about it. 
if it's like me, you see, I have uh, problems with my hands, so I, I, I find it better. Yeah, I found it easy to do in the raw, and just to slice it with a knife. Um, I forgot to tell you, Laurie, as well. I've ordered some uh, square baking pans similar to what you've got. Oh yeah, uh, they're not um the the uh carb the well, like carbon steel type of thing. Yeah, but uh, they haven't come yet. Ah, hi Peter, how are you? Wakey says oh, yeah. typical women. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, hi Peter. Hi, my lady. Hi, my lady. Only problem with doing it this way is the 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 depth of the cookies are very uneven. Yeah, that's what I found because I did roll it out the first time and I wasn't happy with it. So and I had. I took the saran wrap and I just rolled it up into a log and then played around with it. And I'm like, that's enough. And uh, I decided to slice them. I try to find an easy way out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, easy, easy enough, easy enough recipe. Um, I've just added my own little twist on it. Um, I've added some orange extract, which is um, to make them taste like chocolate oranges. Yeah. I bought these as well. These these um, cookie cutters. I got I got them off of, uh, Amazon. I've had them about. Uh -huh. Never never used them. First time yeah. I've, had, I've had cause to use them tonight. Um, a set of three. Thank you, uh, Peter. Uh, this is some uh, we've we've already made the dough on the live stream, but I wanted to show people, you know, how to make the dough. So this is some that I made earlier on. So uh, so yeah, me, Laurie, and Tracy have all done some. You know, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so how many did it make then laurie 28 i had 29 i'm gonna say it, it does say 24 so um obviously so I, that that's that's my first six yeah well, they're going to be small. If you if you slice them, they're going to be smaller. So, I had a nice little sandal cookie cutter I was going to use too, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> little beach sandal, you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, on my way before Mr. Fit, you'll have a job, Peter. They don't call him quick draw McGraw for nothing. These will be gone by tomorrow, I'll tell you. <laughs> Big God <Bob> Pixie. <laughs> oh, dear. Some little tacky way using there. Uh, 
Do they rise very much? Uh, I don't think so, Tracy, because it's shortbread, isn't it? So it's not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be. Uh... Hi, crypto. How are you? Hi, crypto. Hi, crypto. So yeah. Um. I, 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 I've got to tell you this now. These smell amazing with the uh, with the orange extract in them. Absolutely. And and I've gone for white chocolate to drizzle on yeah, top. Yeah. What are you laughing? <laughs> yeah. Hiya, Gordo. How are you? Hi, I thought Gordo. <laughs> I thought Chris's name was Dusty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's um, it's a case of uh, in our ass, especially cookies. Now you see them, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's getting like that in Laura's ass. <laughs> no, not really. Well, well, I don't know. My husband eats them, he'd eat them up quick, but I don't know if he'll like them or not. Dusty bin. We'll see. <laughs> Unless, at least he's trying he's trying my baking so um, he's, he's picky yeah chris he sounds like chris will eat anything basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's why gordo's calling him dusty bin <laughs> See, I wish that I had a rolled man out in it. Uh -huh. But when I when I um when I do the others tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try rolling them out in it. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Cause I, I'm finding this very uh time consuming. So that's yeah. another thing. Do you want to put some of them in oven, baby? Yeah, eighteen to twenty minutes. So yeah, I put, yeah, I put my. Uh, uh, <laughs> Peter says he'll have a better chance at your art, Laura. What gas mask you have to put on today? Yeah, well, I put mine on gas mark three. Right. It says three two five. So min. Uh, yeah. I've done mine for 18 minutes. We'll see. We'll see what happens after 18 minutes. Um. I, I also did something different too, Jeanette. Is I made a um drizzle. A frosting drizzle to put on top of mine instead of chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah. So as I say, I've done white chocolate and that was yeah. I wanted Well, you know, we it seems like what we've been making lately is really super chocolatey and it's almost too chocolate. So I thought I'll make a, I'll make a drizzle. So I made a white drizzle to put on top of mine. Yeah, we have a dustbin he's black with four legs and four brawny. <laughs> <laughs> that dog. Hey, um, I know, I know what you're on about, um, Gordo, because our, our, our biscuits are staying. Tell them what happened today. What happened? Oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah. So you don't think I'm lying? Yeah. I'm coming to that. Um, yeah. Um, Chris has put a video up on on um, on Facebook. Well, we've, we've invested in you know. I, I, I suppose it's called, it's called a ring doorbell, and it lets you see who's at your door. Right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Right. So, well, I'm, uh, Chris, we're waiting. Um, for some SD cards to come. So, for some reason, I think it was Chris's fault, he'd not locked the door. Now, normally, when he goes out, um, he locks the door. But on this occasion, he didn't. 
and the crafty sword had actually opened the door and he were outside when Chris come come in. Oh my god. Come, come back. Should have came back when he came back. It, it, it was, it, he hadn't because you see it records it as well, Tracy. Yeah. And, uh, basically it looked back on footage and all of a sudden you see door flying open and um him deciding to go for a wander <laughs> but it didn't go any further than you know like out, out, out front oh that's good you know what i mean but same as chris said it could have been worse it could have you know i mean look at it we're not near a main road or anything but yeah. uh yeah so now we've got to make a point to making sure that it's locked when anybody goes out so so yeah and it would as look at it i'm wreck i'm wondering if we heard car come back, because they do know your car. Yeah. And I'm wondering if we heard Chris's car come back. I so. so um <laughs> Gordo Gordo says he uh, he has to uh, lock his as well because Ronnie can open it. Right but yeah, I mean is you know it's quite a big dog, so it don't take much effort for it to you know an an open door. So yeah, and good thing about these as well is they don't take long in oven. You know, um, eighteen twenty minutes and they're done. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, I'm going to do like a mini one there. Look, <laughs> I've got a bit of, got a that bit of for Chris. waste, not want, not yeah, not that one's for Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Biscuit can have that. <laughs> no, I'm not. Kidding. <laughs> no, don't give your dog chocolate. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, well, I, yeah, I were only joking, but yeah, that one's a mini one. <laughs> ah, didn't take Tracy long to get hers cut out. No, no, they were a bit sticky, but I did it. Yeah, three to four minutes and done. Oh, I had a German Shepherd that could open all interior doors. We solved the problem by turning the handles around so they can open. Yeah, that that's that's uh, biscuit. Just see, on back of our on back of our bedroom door, we've got it, it's like got to point now where we know is which doors it can open easiest. So on back of our, uh, hang on a minute, let's just. Uh, Um, it, 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 it. we on 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 top of our door, hanging over our door, we've like got one of these things where we put us dressing gowns and things like that. We hang things up on it, so it doesn't quite shut all the way. Oh. Uh, But like Callum's door is a lot more harder to open than ours. So what he does, he jumps up and we pause on handle and keeps doing it until it opens or either that or Callum lets him in. So you know, I mean they're not they're not forwards, forwards 
you know, was the our door because we've got this thing in, hanging over at door is, is um, you know, is, is, uh, dressing gowns and everything. Pardon me. You know, with our door is easy to open. But yeah, that's. Okay, okay, then I'm Johnny's soup recipe. Dead easy to make, I'm Jad. Um, we, we don't we don't give this any chocolate at all. It's a case of what we've had to do tonight is we've had to make it the dough earlier on because it's got to be chilled at least two hours. So it's like is is one we made earlier on. Nah, where's that? Oh, you put it in the fridge, haven't you? Oh no, I haven't. I've got my camera on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't get stuff. So yeah, here's the one that we've made tonight. So that now we've got to go in the fridge, and I'll I'll do that in the morning. But. I've had a lot of trouble um, using the cookie cutter. Now, Laurie has rolled hers out into like a sausage shape. So I think I'm going to do that with the one that I've made tonight. Yeah, it was really easy. And I like my the cookies smaller, you know. And so, I want them yeah, so I'm going, to do that. I'm going to do that tomorrow with this that we've made tonight. Yeah. Find it a lot. I find it a lot of faff. Um, we could, yeah. I, I thought I thought it was going to be easy, but it isn't. <laughs> not not to do with cookie cutters. No. I realized with the cookie cutters that I was not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it's um, pretty, you know, in the recipe. <clears throat> It, it, they always put like footnotes if if you if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. They always put footnotes, and it says if you prefer, you can roll it between two sheets of greaseproof paper. Yeah. <clears throat> and use a you know like a cookie cutter, but yeah. I've done that and I find it you know too tedious. Um, yeah. I rolled it in cling film, so I ran out of greaseproof paper. It rolled okay in that cling film, yeah. Cling so film, what I'm yeah. gonna do with this in the morning when it's been in the fridge and when it's been chilled for till the morning, obviously, when I get it out, I'm gonna do what Laurie did and roll it out into a sausage and, and just like cut the slices off. Yeah. I think that'll be a lot lot easier having tried the cookie cutters because it were very tedious. It's it's easy, oh, it's quick. Jeanette. Say, say that again, Tracy. Do you know how the long the last for? Um, I would I would say I don't know. Um, it does say four to five days. Oh. I you know, bro. Because it says if you put them, it says these cookies can be stored at room temperature in an airtight container for up to five days. Or in the freezer in an airtight container for, for up to two months. Oh. So, so yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if you, if, instead of putting this dough that we've made tonight in the fridge, put it in the freezer. Yeah, I could, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. It says, I have to keep an eye on Nell tonight. Wondered what she was doing, rooting around the side of the shed. Dopey Muck was eating all the black. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, uh, that could get pretty messy. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, he'll, he'll have some mess to clean up in the morning. Oh yeah. Keep him off the carpet. <laughs> but but yeah, so so what what this when we've done the live stream is going in the fridge and I think I'll do what, what Laurie did and roll it in um like a, a sausage shape. And just cut it. It's uh, not time yet, biscuit. I've never known a dog so excited to go out. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 
But oh yeah, baby. Will you look in my drawers and get me some uh, hundreds and thousands? Because like that, that just grabs a brush in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching our live right now. I'm watching it on my computer. Uh, right uh, now, you're just starting to cut out cookies. Yeah. <laughs> um, thing is, uh, uh, going back to the chocolate and dogs, um, we we like to air outside, of course, and we never give, give Biscuit any chocolate at all. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate, can, chocolate is very bad for dogs. It can kill them. Yeah. So, and uh, raisins. Yeah. Uh, it says it's going to leave back door open and she can go outside when she wants. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate raisins and onions. He's been eating That's blackberries it. from the outside of his shed. <laughs> Part time he caught her, he says he didn't know how many she'd had. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Don't give him any onions either, Jeanette. Onions are real bad too. No, no. Uh, carrots. Um, they can eat carrots, though. Dad oh, yeah. likes carrots. Right. Yeah, Chris has just got me some hundreds and thousands out, so. Yeah. So, what, once I've melted my chocolate. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think I of that. Put some little sprinkles so. on there. <laughs> <laughs> You're way ahead of the game. Wait, 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 wait. you've got wait. to count them. That's just waking. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes that brush that we bought. It lay on floor like this now. Waiting for this. Um, wanting, wanting his brush. But uh, but yeah, I mean I agree. I mean there's certain things that you can't, you can't feed your dog. I mean we yeah uh, we let us let us let us let us let so we're waiting for cookies to come out of the oven now. And Mr. P is going to go in and melt my chocolate in a minute after his... Uh, but, but the thing is, um, I don't... It's like when we have a Sunday dinner, right? We have mashed potatoes, we have roast potatoes, we either have pork or chicken, vegetables, and Yorkshire puddings. Now, it, 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 yeah, anyway... So normally, if anybody leaves anything, they always potatoes and vegetables. So I look at it this way: that's not going to do him any harm. How's that for a big bottle of sprinkles? <laughs> I'm ready for you, Jeanette. I'm yeah, ready for you. <laughs> My that's only a little one compared to Laurie's. <laughs> Mind you, I've got every sort of sprinkles. But hey, I'll, I'll tell you something as well. Um, I, I, I've been looking on this thing, and they do like mermaid icing and uh, unicorn icing, and it's ready made up and it's in a tube. And I thought, ooh, you know, I thought, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we can make cupcakes and, and but I'm thinking we might make strawberry cupcakes next week with strawberry icing wow that's crazy Ruby you got very lucky there we had a dog who ate three full boxes of chocolate covered cherries and a pecan pie and a belly ate lift <laughs> man <laughs> Vanessa says, make sure you hold the cookies close to the camera so we can smell them. <laughs> the rider says, have you been taking care of my Jeanette? <laughs> Good luck with that, Ruby, Vanessa says. Uh, <laughs> grapes are another one. Uh, uh, 
you see, it's it's the case of biscuit only has so as art. Yeah. Wakey says, no, pretty much eats what I eat. I eat uh, Wakey's dog eats uh, curries and all sorts. <laughs> well, my dogs eat everything my husband eats. Don't mean anyway. But I don't, I don't feed him as, like he does. Some things I won't give him, you know. <laughs> I say, if you want to go see Daddy, you're not getting it from me. <laughs> 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 but the thing is, because we've got two cats as well, is a bit partial to cat meat and cat biscuits. Oh, wow. Hang on a minute. No, there's nothing a... wrong with that. It's really basically the same stuff. Yeah. But that's what we buy the cats. Yeah. And um, hang on a minute. Hello. Hi. Hi, Callum. That, that's Callum, Hello, how are by you? the way. So right, it, this has got salmon and white fish. And it's huh. made of it 100% natural fish, iron protein, uh, and grain free. So basically, we know we let him eat it anyway because it's not going to hurt him. Right. Yeah, if he and likes what? it, you know. <laughs> Go <laughs> down there to the pit. Actually, he <laughs> the cat meat and the cat biscuits to his own. Teach him how to purr if he wants it. That'd yeah. be a cool trick he could do. We run with later. I've got to put some more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, so, what? Um, can I have a tea towel or something? No. So I can. Take these off for here and then. Oh, I've got some more here. Oh, here then. I've got some on, on a. Oh, really <laughs> so, 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 can you see them? Chris is just getting me a tea towel. But I've got to take these off it off it because I've got some more here that wants going in. So well, I've got to take these, I've got to take these off. Um, mine are done. Yeah, these has done. These has done lovely, Laurie. Mine are they're, uh, they're thinner than yours, so yours will probably take a little longer. Don't say I'd love it. But yeah. Um, it's yeah. quite soft still, um, Jeanette. No, but oh. the thing is, Tracy, I've just turned me over they, up a little bit. They, they, they've they probably feel soft, but you've got to think when they're cooling down, the larded, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, those are big, Jeanette. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's mine a bit as well, but they feel a bit, they feel a bit soft to touch, that's all. But, but it's like everything else. I'll take them out, shall I? I think. Oh, Crypto says her dogs not eat dog food. <laughs> There's no stranger than dogs, is there? But yeah, I mean, we look at it this way. Them dog biscuits not do him any harm. So Chris always says, "Oh well, you know, let it, let, it, let him eat some, and 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 it should be all right." Did yours raise any? Uh, mine didn't raise at all. Did yours? No, not really. Okay. I didn't think they were supposed to, but I thought, "Oh God, what did I do wrong?" <laughs> uh, no, no, it, shortbread don't rise. Yeah. They that, smell really good. That's hence the reason why you don't use baking powder or anything. Yeah, if it doesn't take them too long to cool, we can put some decorations on them. Yeah, yeah. I've just got one more. That's what I love about these little pans. It doesn't take them long to cool. 
But yeah, I've ordered a set of two square pans, like proper cookie pans. Yeah. They're not going to be here till tomorrow. Mine are getting worn out. I have to go get more. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they would be getting worn out. Must be I use them all the time. Um, Gordo says, I had a German Shepherd that opened a tin of roses, a tin of Quality Street. That's when they were in the tins. The poop came out, gift wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right, are you going to put them in for me? So, yeah, as you can see, I'll, I'll just, just move the camera about a little bit. Yeah. This one. Yeah. So yeah. So that that's how they've come out. Um. What I'll do is once they've cool, I, I, same as Laura says, I don't think they take long to cool down. Um. What I'll do is. Yeah. My last lot's going in. Um. Oh, bunny season round here, and farmer encourages it. Uh, Bunny season? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> says, my dad blocked its two front teeth once. Now, every time it farts, it whistles like a cat. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a bit carried away. So, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that's the cookies. I'm just going to move uh, me. Oh, dear. So how many did you get out of your batch? Uh, I've got three trays, so it'll be about 18. So I didn't get, because mine are bigger. Yeah. Will you do me a favour, baby? Will you melt me that chocolate and get me greaseproof paper? I'm trying to think where I can put this camera. We are to sort of toppling out. Sorry if it's making you feel a bit... Uh, even my camera. Hey, I tell you something. You know we're pouring um, our, our in, in. We smell absolutely gorgeous. I don't think that's it at all. Says, so, do you give Nell bunny ears? And he says, no, Gordo. Uh, no, what we're doing is I've got white chocolate to melt and I'm going to drizzle it on and then I'm going to put some hundreds and thousands on. Now, Laurie is doing like a an icing, uh, like a... A drizzle? Yeah. A little like, drizzle of yeah, icing. An icing that, that you drizzle on. Yeah. And I've got some milk chocolate and some Maybe. drops. Just right. put that in the fridge. I'm going to use uh, sprinkles too. Yeah, I've got some. There are put hundreds and thousands to. Uh... So I can't get door at the minute because they, they are done. They're breaking up. I need this tiny little thing. I hope it's enough. <laughs> uh. Ah, Gordo says uh, get bunny ears in if you can get them with fur on because it's good as a good wormer. Huh? Uh, oh, really? I never knew that. I've never I heard think he's that. Pull, I think he's pulling our ear. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm putting these on greaseproof paper. So when Chris has melted the chocolate for me, I can just drizzle it on. Try to do this so you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, so as you can see, I've put I've put the uh, I'll just tilt it down a little bit. It says he asked, Wake says he asked his butcher for some and gave me a carrier bag full. Oh, so yeah, so I'm just waiting for Chris to uh, to melt me the uh, the um, the white chocolate. I'm just trying to see if I can 
space these out so I can get them all on. So, yeah, I've still got another tray in oven. Uh, weird sugar dumps. One of the students said it in maths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says it, it, the, the ones that wake you got have been through a, a, a D fluffer or whatever you call it. <laughs> sugar dumps. Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. My so dirt rider. All I've got. See, see you later, dirt rider. So yeah, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a stock. So I'm just gonna drizzle it. In fact, it's quite thick. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put a blob on each one. <laughs> right in middle. Yeah. I mean, if I'd have thought about it, I could have done that, but I never. Because see, my aim was to drizzle it. But it's quite thick chocolate, this one. So I'm just going to put. A blob in the centre of each cookie. It's a blob, huh? Uh, uh, uh. uh. But yeah, I mean, it, 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 if you want something, if you want something easy and simple to do, I mean, this is it. Um, only problem is when you do your dough, you've got to let it be in the fridge for two hours. So we did one like here's one I made earlier. So actually, we'll have two lots of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, put some beetroot juice in and thin it down. I like it how it is, uh, Wakey. It's just right to, you know, I were going to drizzle it on, but um, it's quite a, a thick consistency. And I thought, well, rather than messing about, I'll just put a blob on on, um, on each cookie. I have a blob on a couple of them. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so now I'm going to put. Uh, uh, it's a get, get tap, tap under the table. <laughs> See, this is why I've put um, uh, proof paper underneath mine. Is you don't have to. You don't have to be precise with these hundreds and thousands. You can just and 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 the. Um, Grease proof paper underneath just catches them. Jeez, you got half of them on the tray. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. Not too shabby. That's uh, Tracy. Uh, melting the chocolate, I bet. Yeah. So yeah, I, that, that that that's mine. Well, I've still got some in oven. Um. So, yeah, so I, I need it to save some chocolate and whatever. But I'll just see if I can get the camera and show you. I'm a bit closer. Like a blob, a, a blob of... Um, That's a blob. <laughs> yeah, a blob of white chocolate. And yeah. then I've sprinkled 
hundreds and thousands on them. So what I have sort of, you can see my laptop here, trying to get ang right angle on. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so I was still waiting um, of uh, one lot coming out. So, uh, Uh, so yeah so that's like you get the gist of it uh, laura's still decorating hers um oh dear crypto says uh got sent out of classroom for saying what you said uh -oh. but, but you know what i mean it, 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 i look at it this way um some of them can be right sticking mud you know what i mean what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these back on the tray for now so i've still got some in oven so, um, trying, trying to arrange them, so we uh, All right, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just moving them off of this... Uh, off this uh, um yeah I've um so I can screw that up. I've only got one 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 lot to come out so it's not too bad. And that's the other thing too when you cut them out you gotta be you gotta you know it takes you longer to bake them because you have to use how many trays right yeah that's it um yeah you see i've got i've got trays in different sizes but um that, them square ones that i've ordered off for amazon will save a hell of a lot of time because they're quite this, this yeah. one, and the big square ones like you've got well, my husband thinks I'm trying to kill him by making him eat cookies. <laughs> I'll, I'll let him blame me, Laurie. <laughs> Jeanette me. said it's her fault. <laughs> uh, what a guy. <laughs> but yeah. I think I think that's what we'll do next week. I think we'll make the strawberry cupcakes. Oh, that sounds good. So you, you actually, in the sponge mixture, you put a, a little tiny bit of red dye so it makes them look pinkish. So they, they look Ooh, pink. that smells nice. Yeah. <laughs> did you put yeah. some orange in yours, Tracy? I did, yeah. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, it did you smell lovely. I put it in the fridge. Yeah. Because I didn't yeah. know... Well, and I, I just found it. My kitchen. Your kitchen? You might be in it. My kitchen. Well, I'll be cleaned up when I get back. Oh, shut up. Yeah, um, yeah. Is he no, wrong, Laurie? No. <laughs> <laughs> just asking him if you are, if you are trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah. But the thing you know, is, the thing is, Wakey, since... Before joining me on the baking live streams, she didn't used to do a deal of baking. And now, because she's baking every Tuesday, I think she's, I think she's trying to bump him off. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he's wrong, Wiggy. He, he likes my bacon. Especially if it comes to pies. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, dear. No, she ain't. 
but yeah, uh, it, it was sort of when I were make when I were making the um, when I were making the place the go earlier on. I thought, oh, you know what, you know what, it, 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 it tastes nice in these. Some you know, more essence in, and um, it'd be like uh, like chocolate taste, like chocolate and orange. So, so that's the that thought process. But as long as well, tell us to get to sleep. So yeah, it were a last minute sort of decision when I was making the dough this afternoon, and I thought, oh, that these taste nice. We um with some uh, um like orange essence in. Yeah, I, I didn't do the orange because I didn't have any. But I'm um, but thinking about taking a bite out of one and trying it. <laughs> it, it well, like this, Laurie. I it might it was sort of just an afterthought with me when I was making dough, and I thought, oh, I bet these taste nice with a bit of orange essence in them. Yeah. Well, that's that's sort of the reasoning behind that. Wakey says he prefers pork pie. But you wouldn't say no to a cookie, uh, waiter. <laughs> pork pie, huh? No. Uh, oh, biscuit likes pork pie, you know. <laughs> the pastry bit it, of it, not every, the meat. Everything but, uh, but yeah, my, my, my last lot's only got two more minutes. <laughs> but yeah. You've got, you, you've got to look forward to doing some more tomorrow, Laurie, because of the dough we've made tonight. Yeah. You've got you've got plenty to be going on with there. Oh, yeah. Same with, with us. Um, so if my husband likes them, he'll really think I am trying to kill him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll sit and eat until they're gone. <laughs> Well, the, the the ones with the marshmallows on top, I think you got one out of them, didn't you? Okay. What's that? I don't like them that much. I said the one about what, shortbread. You just, you just ones, don't care for shortbread. The ones that you made with marshmallow on top. Oh, he loved them. So, uh, yeah. you know, he liked those. Got, I made a couple we batches. Got a good deal out of that one because she, <laughs> she's. Slaved over a hot stove making them, and she got one out of it. <laughs> then I made you know another I mean? batch for us to take that, out that, a little trip that, that we went on. Feel, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the next batch I got a few out of, but plus she's made them again. Yeah, just like the first uh, the first shortbread cookies that we made, I made those like three times. <laughs> I'll be making those more. I love them. We'll see about these. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see if I like them or not. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wakey says he's he, he says afraid I would try to keep on top side of blood sugar levels, otherwise I have to start injecting. Uh, that, that that fit into it, you know, when you sort of trying to keep your blood sugar levels down, and you know, that you know, the, I mean, I don't know whether it's the same in with you, Laurie, but in the UK they do do diabetic stuff. But the downside of it is they're very expensive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like these cookies. I mean, I suppose um, you could like use a sugar substitute if you know what I mean. Because I've got I've got jars of a, a sugar like a sugar substitute. Um, yeah. So I suppose. We don't have any diabetics in this house, but we're working on it, Jeanette. If we keep this up every Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you can blame me any... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do they do strawberry essence? Yes, they do. I have that. I got some. Yeah. Just, uh, when I went shopping last Wednesday, I, or Wednesday, I got strawberry um, essence. essence. Yeah. The only so thing that Laurie's not been able to get is peppermint essence. I got it. Oh, you got, got it? it? I found it. Yeah, they got some in. I got it. So I have the peppermint. Oh, I have the strawberry, oh, banana. <laughs> I heard him, Laurie. I have so many flavors now, I don't even have room in my cupboard for them all. 
Um, I, I'll I'll just show you. Chris went. Can you see that little one? Hang Did on a he? Minute. I'll just put this camera on, <laughs> and I, I I'll show you. <laughs> right. Can I turn that oven off now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. That that's that small one. That yeah. One so we went mine, 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 yours. <laughs> ready now. Uh huh. Taste test. Ooh. Oh yay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It it couldn't resist any longer, Laurie. No, I can't wait. No, that's it. I no. just tasted one. Pretty good. Turns out candy roll sweetener is actually full of sugar. Oh, I'm glad uh, I didn't. I'm glad I didn't put chocolate drizzle on it though. It would have been too sweet for me. Yeah. Oh, look at Tracy. Mm -hmm. they, they, them, that tray that Tracy's got is similar to the ones I'm I'm getting. Oh, you didn't get the um, these little no. aluminum ones. No, no, I couldn't find them on on Amazon, but I, they come in a pack of two, and that's. Uh -huh. They're actually made in Great Britain as well. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, the, the ones that I've ordered. Hey? Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know if I've made them too big, but out of my cookie mix, I only got 12. Oh. Yeah, yours. I broke, I broke I've, a few I've up. I did broke in half, but a couple. I've got a bit of dough left over, and I made a little one, and Chris says, Mine, 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 yours. <laughs> <laughs> so that little one's mine, according to Chris. <laughs> just you should just use pep peppermint snaps. But the thing is, Wakey, uh, I think it was them brownies that we, we made, weren't it, that we used peppermint essence in, and Laurie couldn't find any. Yeah, we'd even put that green stuff on top. Yeah, I reckon they were way too sweet. I, I weren't oh, a fan yeah. Of them. oh, yeah. I weren't a fan of them because they were way too sweet. Yeah, they were. And my hubby said the same. He ate one. Yeah. And he said that they were way too sweet. Uh, that's, that's one of the things I said to Chris. I said, with the peppermint as well, it made them like, Doubly sweet, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You no. Know, after all things I've made, I mean we did have some, but way, way too, way too sweet. Well, I think doing the strawberry, uh, strawberry cupcakes will be nice. Would be a little change from all the chocolate. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, these are I, I, these are pretty I, I, good though. I like them. I like shortbread though. Say, My husband for shortbread. I'm just thinking, is it the same ones what we did before, where we were putting some strawberries in mixture? Um, no, this uh, uh, this is a, a new recipe that I've. Uh, oh. they actually, you actually put the strawberries in the cake mix. Oh. You like you oh. like you like doing um like a like puree. So it's into a mix. And not yeah. from scratch. No, I mean, you you put what you do is you get fresh strawberries, and then you puree them in your food processor, and actually put the puree into the recipe. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh yummy! And then, ah, oh, use use honey as an alternative sweetener. So I'm just oh, yeah, yeah. So is, yeah. There, is there a special frosting in that recipe too, or is it just the cake? I think it's, uh, I'll send it, you have to stream, Laurie, and I'll okay. see. Um, but it, 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 you know, the, the actual cupcakes do look pink. Yeah, I, I think I have some food coloring that I can use for that. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's probably only a couple of drops because yeah. when you think about it, the yeah. strawberries will actually colour right. the, the, the cake mix. 
Yeah, I'm going to look. I think I do. But I've got all, I've got all colours and under done, you know, I've got, um, you know, you name it, I've got it. Red. And yes, I do have the red blue colour. It's in the, it's in the, the tubes. Oh, crypto says I am going to make bonfire pie gluten free. But when, ah. you know what I mean? It's, it's like this. You can find any recipe if you look hard enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? I sort of get an idea in my head and I think, what? I it in Google and it comes up, you know. A friend of mine sent me a recipe for a pumpkin bar. For a pumpkin bar recipe with cream cheese frosting. It's, it looks awesome. I can't wait to try that. So that's a lot. So that's, uh, that, that's it, basically. Chris has already put the um, dough that we've made tonight in the fridge, ready for the morning. <laughs> As I love that you can not buy. Funny thing is, crypto, I have got gluten free um, self raising flour. And in Asda, they do, they've got an aisle free, what is it called? Free from. And it's, you know, everything to, like gluten free. Um, and it, it, it's in it, it's in Asda. If you've got a local Asda, they've got a whole aisle dedicated to free from. You know what I mean? Whether it's if you're a celiac or whether you're diabetic or whatever, it, that whole aisle is dedicated to yeah. There's a uh, free from yeah. I buy that. That's it. But they do they do all sorts. They do um flour, they do uh, all sorts. So I'm just for for last time I'm just gonna turn me and, and show you the um the finished article. So, you know, that, that's my second lot. I've just left them on, on thing, other ones on over on my thing. So that is Chocolate shortcake, uh, white chocolate, and some hundreds and thousands of sprinkles. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, <laughs> if you want, if you wanted to, um, uh, you know, if you wanted to make them, you can get, you know, you can get plain flour, you can get self raising flour, you know what I mean. But you know, it's it's sort of. I mean, I, I I know I know what a celiac is because my brother-in-law's a celiac, so you know you have to be very very careful. And uh, oh, tiramisu! I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that, Gordo, and see if we can make tiramisu on 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 live. But you see, as I was saying on Monday night stream, it's it, it's the time element of it. If you're doing it live. You know, you've got to factor in, um, you know, the cooking time. And like we did earlier on, because it's got to be chilled for two hours, we made the dough in advance. And that's the only way you can do it. So, um, so yeah. Hope you enjoy your cookies, Laurie. Hope you enjoy your cookies, Tracy. Um, oh, thank you for joining me. I'll send you the recipes for next week's. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I'm thinking on, you know, on the, but I, we are going to make that gingerbread slice tray bake thing, Laurie, as well. The what? The gingerbread slice? Yeah. Yeah. Can't you, can you remember when I was showing it here and it's like a gingerbread cake with cream cheese? Um, oh, yeah. On it. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody for coming in and uh, I appreciate everybody's, yeah, everybody's support and um, 
I might go live Friday. I don't know yet. So I hope, hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you again, Laurie. Thank you again, Tracy. So I'll Good see you on the next one, guys. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you.